welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce Abandoned Cart Email Reminder Plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how to get the Twilio credentials that are basically used for sending the SMSs. Apart from that, uh, within this particular module, the admin can automatically or manually send out the abandoned cart email reminders to the customers. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you the initial plugin configuration uh, that has the basic configuration, then the cron settings, emails, and for the uh, Twilio SMS as well. So uh, I'll be taking you to the web store front end first, and I'll be showing you how this particular uh, module works. So we'll be uh, abandoning the cart initially, and thereafter I'll be showing you uh, what kind of an email does the customer receive after he has abandoned a cart uh, within the WooCommerce web store. So before we proceed further, let me give you a small gist about this uh, plugin. So basically this plugin helps the store owners to let their customers recover the abandoned cart by sending them cart recovery email reminders. The admin can send the email reminders to the customers who are unable to complete the checkout due to some issues or uh, maybe any other uh, issues as well. And apart from that, the admin can easily track those customers who have uh, who tend to basically end, abandon their cart due to some reason, send them the cart recovery email reminders and even send the SMS along with the emails as reminders. So now let me take you to the web store front end first and let me show you the workflow there. And after that, we'll be showing you how the admin can configure this particular plugin before making use of the same. So let me take you to the web store uh, front end first. So right now I'm at the uh, WooCommerce web store front end. So I'll be logging into my account as a customer right now. So uh, let me go ahead and log. Let me enter my username, password, and I'll be tapping in the login button thereafter. So now I'm uh, already logged into my customer account as you can see. So let me go to the shop page first. And here what we'll do is uh, we'll add a few products into the cart. And uh, let me tap this one and add to cart so right now i have around three products in the cart and uh, what i'll do is i can tap on the view cart or the checkout so maybe the customers have edited the products and then uh, due to some reason they have just left the uh, products in their cart otherwise uh, it also happens that sometimes the customers are going to the checkout page for uh, completing the uh, payment process but uh, somehow they find that uh, there are no uh, payment methods that uh, uh, would be feasible to them and they just leave the cart as it is uh, at the checkout as well. So I left uh, these uh, four items within my cart right now. So uh, now I'll be showing you how uh, the cart reminder uh, or the abandoned cart reminder mails are sent out to the customer. So uh, for that I'll just show you that in a moment. So uh, basically let me take you back first uh, to my account section. Uh, to show the name of this particular customer that we have all right uh, so uh, the account is registered on the name that is Peter Doe and uh, let me tap on the account details as well all right so uh, we also have the email address set up as Peter Doe dot Peter Doe at the rate of webpool.com so let me uh, change that up for the moment and now let me tap on the save changes button and this would uh, change the email address for this particular customer so I'll uh, change the email address so now what I'll do is uh, I'll just show you how the abandoned cart email uh, is received by the customer so uh, now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you the different configuration settings that are there and then we'll also be showing you the abandoned cart email that the customer receives for the products that he has added into his cart and has just left his cart there only. So for that, now let me take you to the admin backend panel. So here I'm at the backend panel. So I'll be logging into my admin account first. And after login, we'll be seeing the dashboard for the WooCommerce store here. And after you've successfully installed this particular plugin, then you have this abandoned cart menu option on the side uh, panel as you can see and under that we have four different options so we'll be going through each of them one by one the first one is the dashboard then we have the customers then we have emails 
and lastly we have the settings now after you've installed this particular plugin you need to go to the settings section first uh, so as to uh, make the initial basic configuration for this particular product so what I'll do is I'll just go to the settings section now so here you can see that we have four different tabs here for conf configuring this particular plugin so the first one is the configuration then we have the cron then we have email where we, we can configure the emails and lastly we have the Twilio SMS so basically we also need to enter the Twilio SMS uh, details under the Twilio SMS tab as what it does is that it is basically used for sending out the uh, text messages to the customers so now let me come back to the dashboard so uh, now first we'll go through the settings itself so let's go to the configuration section first now under the configuration settings for the WooCommerce abandoned cart settings we have a few uh, options that need to be configured so the very first one is to enable or disable the abandoned cart so here you can enable or disable as per your requirement to make use of this you can tap the enable uh, toggle button here otherwise you want to disable you can tap the disable so we'll enable it up so uh, for example uh, now the second option that we have is the minutes for abandoned cart so basically here you can set up uh, the minutes for the abandoned cart so after these minutes that you have set a cart would be uh, set up as abandoned cart then we have days for abandoned cart so uh, uh, basically uh, you can add the days here and according to that uh, the number of days that you have added would help to get the abandoned cart between today and these days so these would uh, display the uh, number of abandoned carts uh, between today and uh, this day then we have the follow-up for the second mail so after uh, adding this particular number of days here uh, the second email would be sent out to the customers for the abandoned cart reminder and lastly we have the follow-up for the third mail that is sent out to the customers and that can be set up as two days so out of these days the third email would be sent out to the customer so basically we have enabled it we have set up the minutes after which the uh, cart would be uh, abandoned then we have set the days for the abandoned cart uh, between today and the day then we have set up the follow-up for the second email and the follow-up for the th uh, for the third mail so we have set up the days after which these three things would be set up and thereafter we just need to tap on the save changes button now let me take you to the cron settings so uh, basically under the cron settings the admin can schedule his cron and can set up the time when the uh, cron should uh, basically run and what this does is that uh, it basically sends out the email uh, reminders for the abandoned cart to the customers automatically the uh, emails that we send out to the customers automatically can also be sent out manually by the admin by navigating to the customers or the email section so I'll be showing you that as well in a moment so uh, now let's go to the email uh, tab and let's see what different options are there so under the emails here we can configure the emails uh, that are sent out to the customers so here you can enable uh, the auto allowance or the auto uh, email to the customer by choosing the yes uh, toggle button here so if it is chosen as a yes then uh, auto email would be sent out to the customers for the reminder then we have to set up the admin name so we'll set up it as admin you can set it up uh, as per your own requirement then we need to add the email address of the admin that would be used uh, to send out the uh, abandoned cart email to the customers then we have the first abandoned cart mail template so here you can choose the first uh, uh, abandoned cart mail uh, that is the default mail uh, template that is used for sending out the uh, abandoned cart mail to the customers and then lastly we have the first abandoned cart mail content so here you can basically set up the uh, content that would be sent out to the customers uh, basically and this is the first abandoned cart mail uh, content so you can choose uh, you can create it according to your own requirement there and then we have the second abandoned cart mail template just choose it up and then you need to set up the second abandoned cart mail content and similarly you can set up the third cart mail template abandoned cart mail set uh, mail template and set up the third abandoned cart mail content as well lastly you can tap on the save changes button at the last so under the emails you can set up the admin email allow the automatic uh, emails to the customers set up 
choose and set up the first, second and third uh, abandoned cart emails as well. Now let's go to the Twilio SMS section or the tab and under this we need to just set up the Twilio SMS uh, uh, configurations as you can see here. So basically the Twilio SMS settings allow the SMSs to be sent automatically along with the mails to the customers. So here you need to just enter your account session ID. Then you need to enter your authentication token and you need to enter your phone number with the uh, with the country code as well. And after that, you just need to tap on the save changes button. So uh, um, lastly, in this particular video, I'll be showing you how to generate the uh, Twilio SMS settings as well. So we've gone through each of these settings, configuration, cron, email and Twilio SMS. Now let me take you to the dashboard and the other options that we have, that is the customers and the emails. So dashboard, customers and emails. So under the dashboard here, the admin can basically view the chart for the abandoned cards that have been uh, uh, set up by the customers uh, or if the customers have uh, left the cart uh, abandoned at the checkout as well. So here the admin can check the report as weekly, monthly uh, and uh, according to dates as well. So according to the date range as well, uh, the admin can check the abandoned carts that have been set up. So here you can see that we have one abandoned cart and the meals have been sent one time to that. So we have one one ratio here. So uh, that was uh, about the uh, dashboard wherein the admin can see the reports for the weekly, monthly and daily basis for the abandoned cart. Then we have the customers section and here the admin can check the abandoned cart customer list. So all of the customers that have uh, abandoned their cart, uh, their list comes up here. So as you can see on the uh, front end here, uh, we had added these four products, actually three products, three and one is four products and we left the cart as it is. Now when we come back to this customer section in the admin backend panel where the admin can check the abandoned cart customer list, you can see the email address that I had entered is visible here. The username was Peter Doe, created, updated, and the number of items within the, uh, what we say as the abandoned cart that the customer has left out. So under the customers, the admin can see the customers who have abandoned their carts. Now let's go to the email section and now here within the email uh, section you can see the abandoned cart sent mail list. So uh, here under the column more as the mode here you can see the uh, mode of the uh, mails. So here you can see that for uh, for the order that I just placed uh, for the receiver uh, I have set the mode as cron otherwise uh, for the others you can also see that we have set it as manual manual cron and manual as well so basically the admin can also delete any of the uh, options any of the uh, uh, listed items here apart from that uh, he can also see all of the customer list uh, basically so that was about the emails and uh, now so uh, now let me show you how the abandoned cart mail appears to the customer and is visible so basically this is uh, how the uh, mail would uh, appear to the customers uh, wherein we have the text uh, and uh, a link uh, that can be typed by the customers to reach out to that particular product once again so as to make a checkout with that and make a purchase for the product itself. So for example the admin can also tap on the view customer under the abandoned cart customer list with the complete products of this particular customer uh, along with the name, product ID, SKU quantity and the price for the products and here the admin can also see the uh, sent email information as you can see so right now it has been set uh, as uh, mode is on cron apart from that you can directly or manually send out to the uh, ma you can manually send the abandoned cart email to the customer by tapping on the send mail button as you can see here and that uh, brings up this particular section wherein uh, we have the admin name email id uh, we have the mail body so here the admin can enter the uh, content for the uh, abandoned mail, mail that the admin wants to send out so because this is manual so you will need to create up the mail body as well and thereafter you can tap the uh, send mail button uh, to send the uh, uh, to send the what we say as the uh, abandoned cart mail manually to the customer so for that you just need to go to the customer section check the customer list tap on view customer with the products and the rest of the details, 
tap on the send mail button enter the mail body tap the send mail button to send the abandoned cart manually to the customers otherwise it would uh, be sent out automatically because we have set up the cron uh, for uh, sending the mails and uh, that's it so uh, so uh, that was much about the WooCommerce abandoned cart email reminder and I just showed you how the admin of the uh, web store or the WooCommerce web store would be able to uh, configure this uh, particular thing initially now let me show you how we can generate the uh, Twilio uh, credentials so uh, for that just uh, I'll be taking you to the Twilio website that is Twilio.com so basically here uh, from the Twilio website what we will be doing is we'll be creating one account and uh, then we'll be having our account SID and the authentication token along with the phone number and that would then be used in the admin backend configuration here under the Twilio SMS section so as to configure the SMS part the, uh, that uh, is uh, basically used to send the uh, um, SMSs along with the emails for the abandoned cart itself so now let me take you back to the uh, Twilio website and so I'll be signing up by tapping the sign up button here thereafter also uh, please uh, keep that in mind that uh, that uh, the admin will have to run the command uh, to install the Twilio via the composer so uh, within the description section I have uh, added the user guide for this particular plugin so you can navigate to the manage Twilio section and there you will find this particular note and the folder path example as well so uh, now uh, here we are so we have tapped on the sign in button for the Twilio now we'll be entering our uh, details some of the details here so as to uh, register at the Twilio uh, first so let me get ahead and let me enter the few details first email and the password I'll have to check the terms and conditions and then we need to tap on the start your free trial button so you can also uh, purchase the different uh, plans that they have so within the basic one as well you can make use uh, so now we are being redirected to the console uh, section for the Twilio cloud communications so an email would be sent out on your email address you just need to uh, check that and verify the, uh, your account so just give me a second for that let me verify my account get to the uh, dashboard basically and there under the con console dashboard you'll be able to check your account summary wherein you have the account SID and the authentication token so uh, once you have uh, received the credentials just the admin just can then complete the plugin configuration uh, with the Twilio SMS provider by choosing the details here and uh, sending and adding up his uh, Twilio registered number and uh, entering his uh, SMS provider choosing the Twilio account SID entering the Twilio account token and entering the Twilio registered number here and thereafter uh, the Twilio basically the Twilio uh, configuration would be set up and then the uh, SMSs would be sent out with the emails as well for the abandoned cards so uh, that was much about the WooCommerce abandoned cart email reminder and if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.